You sure you know where you're going? Don't I always? Don't you love the way the water makes your jeans all squidgy? It's like the good old days, isn't it? Yeah. When were those again? Oh, wait. This can't be right. We must have made a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> hey, now what do you bet that will take us right into the boiler room? And from there, we're in. Yeah, <laughs> in like Flynn, right? What? In like Flynn. I don't get it. Just give me a boost. Here it comes. Thanks. Almost there. You ready? No guts, no glory. Here we go. Reach up there and grab the ladder. Okay, am I? Yeah. Yeah, I dropped it down for you. All right, this is the way to the courtyard. Well, we're not going this way. Not if you want to keep your skin. All right. There's got to be a shutoff valve around here somewhere. See if you can find it then. You got it. Okay, now there should be a door just around this corner. That's our access point. Once we're through, just stick to the plan. You got me? Tell me you didn't miss this. <laughs> I'm here, aren't I? It's locked. Good job I came prepared. <laughs> I pick more than my nose, my friend. Wait! There's an alarm. That's nuisance last time. 
Great. Now what? Well, I can disarm it if we can find the junction box. It's gotta be around here somewhere. There. That ought to do it. Alright, we're in. Shit. I got him. Sweet dreams. There's the tower. Yeah, but we can only get to it from the roof, and we can't get to the roof from here. We're gonna have to make our way to the next courtyard, through that gate over there. Well, let's do it. Get up to that balcony. We can climb the gate over here. Got it. I've got the other one. Come on, what are you waiting for? Okay, we're almost there. I'll go right, you go left. out. Should be able to lift this up, sneak right under. Whoa, whoa, not so fast. There's another alarm. Ah, oh, great. You want to get this one? Wait here. Okay, okay. Go. Right. 
Hurry up! Easy. Easy. Alright. We gotta cross this courtyard to get onto the roof. Okay. I'll just let you do what he asks you. All right. Right. Head to the mountain. <laughs> Now we just gotta find a way up to that window. Which window? There's a lot of bloody windows. Now what? It's time to tip the odds back in our favor. Oh, that's brilliant. Guns? What are you thinking? Relax, Gandhi. They're tranquilizer guns, totally non-lethal. Your conscience will remain unscathed. Oh, well, good idea. Great. Okay, a little bit of advice. These things have lousy range, so we still have to get in close. You okay with that? Know how to shoot a gun, genius. All right. All right, let's take these guys out. a horse. Those rafters will get us onto the roof, if we can get up there. Good thing one of us thought ahead, eh? Oh, yours. Let you cut it. Thanks, mate. Come on. All right, all right. I'm coming. I think I'm going to take the elevator next time.
All right, there's the tower. Getting closer. Appreciate that update, Captain Obvious. Can't get any closer with the tower lit up like that. What the hell is she doing? Come on, Chloe. Ah, that's my girl. Ladies first. Ah, <laughs> cute. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Yeah, and there's the acoustic alarm. Until we get this case unlocked, that thing's gonna go off if we so much as touch this glass. No worries, mate. Voila. <laughs> All right. Now we're sure it's the right one. I guess there's only one way to find out. Sorry, Marco. Statement of the year. This is it. It's bloody useless. The light of the great Khan. Wait a minute. What are you doing? It's resin. It'll burn. And? Just give me your lighter. What? Is that 
really a good idea in here. Man. Whoa. Let me see that. Our ships were driven by a great flood tide into the wilds of Java. Sounds like they were hit by a tsunami. Yeah, somewhere off the west coast of Borneo. Oh, great. That narrows it down a bit. Uh, look, this mountain must have been the closest landmark where they went aground. We find that mountain. We find the ships. Yeah, good work, mate. Uh, wait, wait, there's more. Okay, Joe. As if the ocean itself sought to throw off the terrible cargo we carried from Shambhala. The curse of the Chintamani. Would that mean something to you? Shambhala? Oh my god, Flynn. What? Marco Polo found Shambhala. Shangri-La. You're joking. If they were carrying the Chintamani stone, it might still be there. It's all very fascinating, but we really gotta go. Yeah, I'm right behind you. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, mate. This is where we part ways. Wait, Flynn, we had a plan. No, you had a plan. Turns out I've got one of my own. Uh, come on, throw me the rope. Don't be stupid. Oh, yeah, right. You're the mastermind. Only you overlooked one little detail. Didn't you, partner? So what are you going to do, shoot me now? No, I just need you out of the way for a little while. Oh, shit. You think I didn't know about the ships from the beginning? Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flynn, listen. Face it, genius. You've been played. Ah, uh -uh, not yet. I want to give the guards a decent head start. Right, that's my cue. No hard feelings, yeah? Flynn. How about you be steady, Carpathead? Copy you, Carpathead! Oh, no, no, no! Okay, now I'm screwed. Alright, alright. Think, Nate, think. Yeah, there it is. Get out of here. There we go. There we go. Gotta get to that ladder. <laughs> See ya, suckers. You overlooked one little detail, didn't you, partner? What? Face it, genius, you've been played. Oh, really? <gasps> ah! Hey, hey, hey! Jackass, you're ruining the show here. Ah, oh, what a shame. Sully! I really can't leave you alone for a minute. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. How are you doing, kid? Uh, I'm doing just great. So, I had to grease a few palms. Did go through the rest of your money, and a good chunk of my own, but hey. <laughs> Jesus, you stink. Yeah, not half as bad as that cigar. Yeah. Hey, how'd you find me? Well, a uh, friend of yours asked for my help. Hello, Nate. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Just wait a goddamn minute. Hear her out. Thank you, Victor. Hey, no offense, Sully, but you're not exactly the best judge of character, especially when it comes to women. Fair enough. All the same. Dear God. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. Ooh. Last cell I was in, eight of us had to share. Listen, Nate. You know something I really appreciate you dropping by? But if you and Flynn hadn't screwed me over in the first now, place, I wouldn't minute. have been rotting in this shithole for the last three Nate. months. So excuse me if I'm not just, you know, leaping into your arms. I had nothing to do with it. Right. I told you, he's not going to listen to me. Screw this. Nate. They found the ships. 
in Borneo. Yes. And the Chintamani stone? How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. No, they haven't found it yet. What do you mean, they? Flynn and his client, Lazarevich. You know, the nutcase. They've been working together all along. All right, then. If they haven't found the stone, that means there's still time. You're going to get us into that dig site. We are going to snatch that treasure right out from under them. They'll never see it coming. Yeah, we'll pay back some bitch. Look, they called it the wish-fulfilling jewel. It's a sacred object. What, like a Buddhist holy grail? Exactly. Thanks. Sully, listen to this. In the kingdom of Shambhala lies the most precious thing to be found in all the world. A perfect raw sapphire of the deepest blue, larger around than the reach of a man's arms. Ooh, that's got to be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. And you say there's more of this? Loads more. Lazarevich paid top dollar for Marco Polo's journals. He's been after the Chintamani stone for years. <laughs> well, if he's been counting on Flynn to find it for him, it's no wonder he hasn't had any luck. <laughs> if I can get a look at Lazarevich's files, I can find that stone. Uh, hang on a minute, cowboy. That's easier said than done. The files are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers everywhere. Well, that's why it has to be a inside job from someone they know and trust oh okay i see where this is going I just need a diversion you give me five minutes in that tent that's all it'll take really five minutes well that's great i won't even have to get my top off chloe i was thinking more like an explosion or that can be arranged are you in oh hell yes i was in before you were Chloe, you're reading us? Loud and clear. We're getting close. 